Hey guys, thanks for coming over for this video. These are my sales on eBay. These are not all of my sales, but these are the most interesting sales because I am including the jewelry sales in separate videos now. This is a fabulous bag that I picked up for $4. That's right, you heard it right. $4 at the Goodwill. It is in amazing condition. It is by Ash, A-S-H, and I just spotted it. Never heard of the brand, but I knew it was amazing quality and that did sell for $175. I had it listed for $300. I had taken an original offer of $150 but someone became a, kind of backed out on it. I guess she didn't pay for it so we put it back up and we took a best offer of $175. Great sale on that and it went here in Texas so it wasn't too much to ship it as well and I do offer free shipping on just about everything in my eBay store. So that was really, really wonderful. All right, and next we have some Ralph Lauren jeans. These were in mediocre condition. They weren't brand new or anything. Those sold for $16. I've told you before, my price point on clothing is about $3 at max. I can sometimes get these for $1.99, you know, 50 cents, depending. Sometimes I get things off the dollar rack. I believe I got these off a the dollar rack at one of the charity shops that I frequent. And I don't really like selling jeans, so I really cleared those out at $16. Did I say $16.99? They were $16 plus free shipping. Okay, I did sell these for $64.88. These are some sneakers, Nike sneakers that I picked up. Remember I told you I cleared out, made my nephew an offer on his closet that uh, from his old closet. He's already moved out of my sister's house. So I offered him $400 for everything in his closet, included a lot of shoes. I think I got 20 pairs of shoes. So this is the first one that sold. And again, I think I had these listed for $80, but I took, I think that I had them on sale and they maybe took a best offer or something because they have an odd price there, but $64.88 is what they sold for. They did sell for, um, to a customer overseas. So that went global shipping as well. So I didn't think that was too bad of a deal there. And they, those, most of the shoes are in really, really good condition. And I did find out all of the names and everything through a video that I watched here on YouTube to tell me where to look on the label and get the exact name and everything. So that was really important, I think, to have it, you know, found on uh, on eBay there. I still have, like I said, quite a few pairs. And uh, I've only sold two things out of that closet, a wrestling shirt and those shoes. All right, here's an Austin City Limits shirt. I have about four or five Austin City Limits um, shirts. This is a festival that takes place yearly. That sold for $12.99. And I do pick up these T-shirts, usually for under $2 because... This one, I believe I picked up for $1.99, and then with my discount, it comes out to about $1.50 here. Okay, here is a really nice sweatshirt from the Houston Texans NFL football team here, and that is a Salute to Servicemen sweatshirt. I did pick up that new with tags, and I think I paid up for it a bit. I think I paid four, and it only sold for seven, no, for $15. I took a best offer of $15, but... Um, it was going overseas. It went to Germany, actually, to a sports store in Germany. So I went ahead and took that just to clear it out. Okay, here is a vintage cavalry style Karma Western shirt that sold for $20 and uh, also free shipping on that. But I had that up. Gosh, I think it's going on two years. So I went ahead and took that offer. Here's another Western shirt that sold for $17.99. This is a Roper shirt. And I picked this one up for probably about $1.50. Again, that was up for a long time, going on about two years on eBay as well as Etsy. So I finally sold that one as well. That one was really pretty. It had that double... Um, that double design on the pocket there so I every time I see a, a western shirt primarily the vintage I do not leave them behind they sell extremely well they sell usually very quickly sometimes more of the elaborate ones sell quicker though this one was kind of a conservative I think a conservative design so maybe that's why it took a while and it wasn't um, a really popular size as well I think Sometimes the extra large shirts are the ones that go quick. Here's a Rancid Rock tee that sold for $14.99. I usually get between $15 and uh, $13 for the Rock t-shirts or um, the Rocker t-shirts. These were actually my son's. And I have gotten up to $50, $75, $80 dollars on some of his 80s, 90s, not 80s, 90s band shirts that um, he left behind. So I'm definitely always clearing those out. This is a really small Kate Spade classic sandbag. I did not take a very good picture of that. I was kind of in a hurry listing during the listing challenge, but that did sell for $35. 
And then for $24.99, we got rid of a Mario Kart game, a Wii. That I picked up for about $3 at the Goodwill. Picked that out when they were just pulling it out of the back. They had a whole bin full of games. And I sold a few others, but like I said, I didn't list all of my sales here. I also sold some DS games during that challenge. <laughs> all right, here's a Laurel Birch bag. Very popular design of jewelry and bags and that one got a really good price actually I only paid a dollar or two for it that sold for $42.99 that was new with tags though and it's a large tote bag just gorgeous really really embellished and pretty but it took a while to sell as well it was up there I would say about six months I think I showed you that in one of my handbag hauls I will be bringing you a handbag haul really soon guys stay tuned for that I've picked up some new brands that you may not have heard of or that I haven't heard of as well so we can both learn there but again that did sell for $42.99 and uh, free shipping I usually do free okay, shipping. okay and then I guess the frenzy of the royal wedding kind of stirred some sales in my store because I had this mug sitting in my store for over a year it is Kate and William's wedding and I sold that for $19.99 I had it for $24.99 took a got an offer of 14 countered and so forth so it did go out for $19.99 with free shipping I paid I guess about seven dollars to get it shipped out so I still made a good ten dollar profit on that because I usually pick up mugs for no more than 99 cents really is where I'm trying to stay at between 99 cents and 50 cents is the average price on my mugs all right here's a Reba McIntyre shirt this is a new with tags patriotic shirt really cute top very embellished and that sold for $24.99 and that was also with free shipping that was really really pretty there's the tags there and uh, yeah just a really good sale there on Reba McIntyre I have sold quite a few of her shirts and I seem to find them new with tags which is fabulous again the price point on clothing is two to three dollars because I never know whether I'm going to clear them out or whether I can really count on a good profit but this one was a pretty good profit Okay, now on to this beautiful military style velvet blazer, new with tags, actually from Neiman's. It had a tag, I believe, of $138 on it. Absolutely beautiful. It's by Cambridge Dry Goods. I loved it. But uh, anyway, I could not keep it. <laughs> so I sold it for $80. That was a really good deal as well. There it is there, Cambridge Dry Goods. I have seen this brand still today but that is a vintage i would say at least 90s but that had 138 dollars i believe on it and i do like to show the tags if it's a neiman's tag i will show it okay here's a rag and bone top tiny little crop top very sheer that sold for 18 dollars. i picked that up for about a dollar at the goodwill so i thought that was a really good turn there and i have been finding this brand rag and bone jean quite a bit at this particular goodwill so i'm really anxious to get there is almost every other day is when I go to this particular Goodwill. I have leggings, I have jeans, and other things that are listed from this brand, and it seems to be only appearing at this particular store. So I'm really excited about that. Thanks for joining me, guys. Please come back for another video really soon. Please like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!